Hey everybody, it's 3.3 day one parallel pr line proofs. Let's get started. Alright, so let's start with completing our first, so a little bit of a warm up. Alright, if parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then always our corresponding angles are congruent. Alternate interior angles will always be congruent. Alternate exterior angles will always be congruent. And side, side, same side interior angles are always going to be supplementary. All right, write an equation and solve for x. What we have here are corresponding angles, so we want to set them equal to each other. So we're going to say 2x plus 6 equals 42. We subtract 6 from both sides. We're going to get 2x equals 36. We divide by 2, and x equals 18. For our next example, our 2x plus 6 and 42 are in this same, their same side interior, so we want to set this equal to 180 degrees. 2x plus 6 plus 42 equals 180. We want to combine our like terms. 2x plus 48 equals 180. We subtract by 48 to both sides. 2x equals 132. We divide by 2 and x equals 66. Alright guys, determine if the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or skew. GF, AB. They are up and down from each other. They'll never intersect, so they are parallel. Alright, GF, HG, meet in the corner, forming a right angle, so this would be perpendicular. GF, DE, one is going up, one is going up and down, the other one is left or right, so that would be skew. Alright, you guys, let's continue. Alright, with our lesson, if two lines are cut by a transversal, then the pairs of corresponding angles are congruent. Alright, so if we have two lines cut by a transversal, then the corresponding angles are congruent. If two coplanar lines are cut by a transversal so that the corresponding angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. So that's like the converse of our statement. With this converse of our corresponding angles, we'll prove our lines are parallel. So today, we're going to be proving lines are parallel and why using this converse. So angles 1 and angle 5, do they prove line L and M are parallel, and why? Well, 1 and 5 are corresponding. They are congruent, and both of them touch the lines I am proving are parallel. That is a very big piece. Yes. And the reason why is the converse of corresponding angles. So I'm looking at a lot of pieces here that are going to be very helpful for us. So when we look at this, please pay attention to it. All right, one and three, both touch line L. They are congruent, they are vertical, but they do not, 3 does not touch M. I need them touching two separate lines, so this is no because they are vertical. Our next one is 2 and 6. 2 touches 6. 2, two does not touch 6. 2 and 6 are two separate lines. They are congruent. 2 touches L, 6 touches M, so this is a yes. They are congruent because they're alternate exterior angles, 
So this would be the alternate. And I'm going to switch this around. Exterior, angle, reverse. So each time that I'm proving parallel lines, I want to use these words of converse. It works only when I do proofs of parallel lines. All right, four and eight. Four and eight are congruent, as stated. That's very important. They t touch two separate, the lines that I'm looking for, L and M. So this is also a yes. And that is because of the alternate interior angle converse. Okay. If we look here, we have 4 and 5. Now, the last couple of problems, we had them all as congruent. But 4 and 5 are talking about 180 degrees. They are same side interior. If they are same side interior, they have to be supplementary. They cannot be congruent. So this is a yes also because 4 does touch line L and 5 does touch line M. They are supplementary as long as they are meeting the angle relationship that they are. Then they can prove parallel lines like same side has to be supplementary while corresponding and alternate interior and exterior have to be congruent. So this would be the same side angle verse. Angle one, angle two, very similar to vertical angles. A linear pair cannot prove either because two touches line L, one touches line L. For me to prove parallel lines, they have to be on separate lines. So this is a no. All right, you guys. I'm going to do one through four. We're going to go over what it is. And then I'm going to give you some to practice. So three and seven do touch line L and M. They are congruent because they're corresponding. So I can say corresponding angle converse. Our next one is 2 and 5. 2 and 5 do touch line L and M. They are supplementary, so I can say that this is same side interior angle converse. Because we're using, uh, we're always going to do the converse of same side interior, converse of corresponding angles to prove parallel lines. Six and three are congruent. They do touch line L and M, so they can prove parallel lines. So this would be the alternate exterior. Angle converse to prove that line L and M are parallel and five and eight. Five and eight are vertical angles, so this is a no. All right, you guys, now you guys are going to do five, six, and seven on your own, and when you're ready. Please unpause the video. All 
Okay. Let's welcome back. Let's get started. Let's see how you did. Okay, one and three. Yes, they are supplementary. They are a linear pair, but they cannot prove parallel lines because they both are on the same line. So that is a no. Okay, our next two are four and seven. Before I, excuse me, four and eight. I Pardon me on that one. They are corresponding. And for me to prove that they are corresponding, I have to substitute in. I have to see if 8 equals 4. So I'm going to do 7 times 7 plus 5 and get 54. They are the same, so I can prove they are parallel. So this is a yes, because corresponding angle converse. Alright, I will need to do the same, so first let's look at them, which are 2 and 6. 2 and 6 are corresponding angles also, so I need to first prove that these, when I substitute in, are the same. So I'm going to do 8 times 15 plus 4, I'm going to get 124, and then I'll do the same here, 11 times 15 minus 41, which will give me 124. So... I can say that this is also a yes, and this is the corresponding angle converse because I am proving parallel lines. All right, so we're going to start by going back over <clears throat> a few A and B, C and D. They are both going left to right, so. And they will never intersect, so this will be parallel. Our next one is EF, ED. They do meet in a corner, forming a right angle, so this would be perpendicular. All right, you guys. Good job. Keep it up. Now it's your time to practice 10 11 and 12. So at this time, please do 10, 11, and 12 on your own. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. All right, welcome back, you guys. Let's see how you did. All right, HG, CD. One is going up left to right. And one is kind of coming towards us. Because of that, they're going in two separate directions, making this skew. They won't intersect, but they're going in two separate directions, so it can't be parallel. BC and GF, one is coming towards us, one is going left to right. Again, they're going two separate directions and never intersect, so this is skew. All right, finally, BG, CH, they're both going up and down. They'll never intersect, so they're going in the same direction, making this parallel. Good job, you guys. All right, I'll start off by doing number 13. So we need to fill in the blanks with the name of the angles, corresponding alternate interior, alternate exterior, or same side interior, and then solve the equation to find the value of x. And showing our work. x plus 15 and 88 are same side interior angle, so we want to set it equal to 180 degrees, so x plus 15 plus 88 equals 180. I'm going to start by combining my like terms. x plus uh, 15 plus 88 would give us 103 equals 180. I'm going to subtract 103 to both sides and I get x equals 77. 
Now you're going to do 14 and 15. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. All right, welcome back. Let's see how well you did. All right, for number 14, 120 and x minus 30 are corresponding angles. We want to set them equal to each other. So x minus 30 equals 120. I'm going to put, I forgot to put my corresponding angles first. I'm going to add 130, uh, 30 to both sides, and I get x equals 150. 4x minus 14 and 3x plus 12 are alternate interior angles, so I want to set them equal to each other. So I'm going to say 4x minus 14 equals 3x plus 12. I'm going to subtract 3 to both sides, so I'm going to get x minus 14 equals 12. I'm going to add 14 to both sides, and x will equal 26. All right, at this time, if you can practice and do 1, 2, and 3, and when you're ready, please unpause the video. All right, welcome back. A, B, C, G. They're going in two different directions. One is going towards us, one is going left or right. They're never going to intersect, which means it makes it skew. AB, EF, they're both going left to right. They'll never intersect, which makes them parallel. Our next one is AB, AD. They meet together at the corner, forming a right angle, which we will make them perpendicular. All right, so your next part that you're going to practice is identifying a pair of angles as corresponding alternate interior, alternate exterior, same side interior, linear pair, or vertical. So it is your time to practice, 4 through 8, and when you're ready, um, pause the video. Alright, 4 and 8 for number 4. They are not on the same side, so that we make them, and they're facing outward, alternate, exterior angles. Our next ones is 4 and 2. If they are in, they're both on the left and on the top of our transversal to make them corresponding angles. Our next is 4 and 5. They're right next to each other to make them a linear pair. Our next is 3 and 7, which would be alternating interior. And finally, 2 and 8. They're right across from each other, making them vertical. All right, last part of our practice for today would be 9 through 12. If you can please determine if you can prove if the lines are parallel and explain why. So at this time, please pause the video. And when you're ready, please unpause. All right, welcome back. Let's see how well you did. First one is 1 and 5. 1 and 5 do touch M and N. They are congruent, so I can say yes to this. This will be alternate. Exterior. 
angle converse because we are proving parallel lines we want to state it correctly our next one is 2 is 60 3 is 120 they both touch M and N they are supplementary which meets the needs of what they are which are same side interior so this is yes same side interior angle converse okay, I'm going to erase that 3 and 5 3 and 5 3 touches N 5 touches N this would be a no. They are congruent. And next would be 1 as 120 and 3. All right, so we have 1 as 120 and 3 as 120. Because they're both 120, they are corresponding. Corresponding angles have to be congruent, so this is also a yes. And this is because of the corresponding angle converse. All right, guys, this is the end of today's video. If you have any questions, please contact me. Remember, at any time, if you have to rewatch or see any parts of the video, please do so. You do have an assignment online. Good luck, stay safe, and have a good day. Okay, bye-bye.